All right, two severe thunderstorm warnings on the board. One is in effect, and this one is for a storm that's well east of Washington right now until 630. But this one here certainly is showing a hook echo on the radar, and it's a severe thunderstorm warning, and it's what the National Weather Service issues as a severe thunderstorm warning with tornado possible, meaning that there's been a lot of rotation within this storm. It's had a history of rotation as it's moved from Ohio through the northern panhandle of West Virginia up into this point. It's had a hook for almost an hour now on and off as it's moved that that trek. And with this the case, you can see here we have a bit of a couplet and this looks weird uh, from the traditional radar view that you may be accustomed to. This shows us the motion inside the storm and it was it's what makes a Doppler radar Doppler. You get motion towards the radar, which is green, and that is showing up as bright green. So it, it's a sign that there's some stronger winds associated with that. And then the reds and yellows are winds away from the radar. And when you have them right next to each other, that's a real good indication that the storm itself is is rotating and there's quite a broad rotation within this one, but it has had the history. It does have the hook echo associated with it, and this storm is moving eastward at roughly 35 miles per hour. So this is going to take it. Um, let me let me adjust this this uh, path a little bit because um, this uh, the the radar is updated here, but this is going to put it uh, out towards uh, uh, West Bethlehem at about 637, 644, 645 towards Chartiers. That's towards the end of the severe thunderstorm warning with tornado possible with this one. But but treat this one like it's a tornado warning. Get to the lowest level of your home as it's coming through because storms like this like to spin up something real quick and they typically don't last too long and you don't want to get caught off guard. So be in your safe place right out of the gates as this one's coming through and again moving southeast at uh, roughly 35 miles per hour. So a severe thunderstorm warning coming out of East Finley towards the Amwell area, down towards West Bethlehem and Chartiers. And this is going to be the case over the next uh, 20, 25 minutes. And again, this has rotation with it. There is another uh, severe thunderstorm warning. Actually, this one just got, uh, is going to be wrapping up here in the next couple of minutes. This has lost a lot of its steam. Still some very heavy rain near Fallowfield moving towards Ross River and Cal PA, but the winds still gusty, but this one is not exhibiting those signs of rotation here. So a good sign with that one, but still a severe thunderstorm warning until 630 for this front edge storm. And you can see there's another cluster coming in from the west. So we're not quite done with the storms just yet. This is going to be the case for the next few hours. We're going to have to deal with these storms on and off. And then once we get towards midnight 1 a.m., I think we're going to be done with that. And then tomorrow we should have much more quiet weather moving back into play in the short term tonight, 68 degrees, thunderstorms early, late tonight, mostly cloudy skies will chip away at those clouds through the day tomorrow, so it'll get brighter and brighter. The humidity should be low. That 82 degrees should feel real nice, and you can see here just a gorgeous looking day unfolding. But after tonight's storms, then we're not done with the storms just yet. We get a couple bright days, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the heat turns on and the storms turn on, on and off throughout the rest of the forecast. Several chances at rain and thunderstorms over the week ahead. It does not look like we're looking at washouts here, but certainly some scattered thunderstorms around the region.